It's Patty. Watch Patty melt, and I'm back, back from my RNY surgery. Um, I am actually evening 13 post-op right now, and um, I've missed you guys, and I've been catching up on video slowly through this recovery process, but I just wanted to say hello, let you know all is good. I'm doing much better. Um, my surgery actually went rather well, and I'll give you some updates on that. I just had a little bit of a setback, oh, about a week after my surgery. Um, I, I probably overdid it a little bit too soon, but I'll get there. So, I guess first I'll get to the numbers. Um, as many of you may remember, um, let, let me kind of start from my beginning. Um, my highest weight, first of all, I'm 46 years old. I live in Orange County, California. And I am five foot nine and three quarters. And my highest weight that I ever knew, which was last fall, I was 360 pounds. Um, I started watching what I was eating and by January of 2014, I was at 343 pounds. And at that point, um, decided to go on the Optifast program and uh, did the Optifast program all the way up until my surgery date, which was uh, just two, uh, almost two weeks ago on tax day, April 15th. And on my uh, surgery day, um, I weighed in at 290. So I lost about 53 pounds doing the Optifast program. So anyways, yeah, my goal was to be under 300 and then I revised it a little bit and I was hoping to get to 290 or below in the morning of surgery. I actually weighed at home and I was 290.4. So that was, um, that was a big accomplishment. So anyways, so you probably wanna know where I'm at today being 13 days out. Um, I have lost 12 pounds since surgery. Um, I'm at 278, which I thought was completely impossible. Um, after losing a significant amount of weight on OptiFast, I kind of thought, you know, I'm probably not going to have those big drops like a lot of people have. And, and I think I probably would have a bigger drop if I hadn't lost weight prior, but who knows? I'll take whatever. I'm completely happy. I mean, if I lost three pounds, I would have been fine. Um, but I, I will take the gift of the 12 pounds that I've lost since um, having my RNY surgery. So um, just wanted to um, share that with you and also to share with you some of my thoughts. I know I came to you before with my thoughts on as I was going into surgery and the things I was looking forward to. Um, what I did not include in that video as far as, um, well, basically just wanted to share some emotional things um, as I was leading up to my surgery and since then. So I'm going to refer to my phone because I take a lot of notes. Um, a uh, couple things that happened. I mean, this is not, I, again, I'd been on Optifast for quite a while and the morning of my surgery when I was showering, I noticed, ah, all this hair was starting to fall out. I had a kind of nice clump in the shower. So that was a little bit disturbing the day of surgery, but knew that was going to happen at some point. It's just, it started that day. A couple things started that day. Um, and then the other thing was, um, you know, leading up to surgery, I was a pretty cool cat up until about, oh, two, two days before, and then the nerves started setting in. Um, and when I say nerves, it was just actual fear. The whole time, my biggest fear has been actually going through the procedure. It wasn't about what life's going to be like for me on the other side. It kind of felt like I had a running start to that with, sorry, but I'm bringing it up again, doing the Optifast program, which is a liquid diet. Um, so my, my greatest fear, um, and I had to put it in the hands of God, was, Lord, bring me through the surgery, please. And um, I knew it was something that was probably heavily in the back of my mother's mind as well. My father passed away. Uh, in surgery when he was 59 years old. And so um, it was complete to shock to our entire family when that occurred. And obviously, and it changed our lives greatly after that. Um, so that, was, that completely was my biggest fear. So up until about two days before, I tried to put that out of my mind, but it got the better of me, you know, the couple days before. And then in addition to that, um, I was emotional, but I wasn't ready for others around me to be emotional. I just thought, okay, I just need to be zoned in here. And I wasn't ready for 
um, you know, my, my daughter had some emotion. Um, she wasn't sleeping well the two nights before, and it had to do with my surgery. She, you know, had a lot of questions the night before. And then my mom, too, of course. You know, she, she um, they, they're completely supportive. Just they had fear, too. And so we had a couple of good cries together and uh, I'm gonna get emotional and my husband and I, I, I the morning of surgery um, going there and so forth I, I cried I it just I was very fearful um, all went well the morning of surgery I got checked in at the hospital um, you know I just kind of held on to my husband and uh, had a few little cries and then um, they called me back to get ready and and so I did and um, while on the gurney getting ready with putting the IV in and so forth yeah you know, I was just sitting there thinking to myself you're doing this you are really doing this <laughs> you can't run back now right um, and so anyways I, I felt like there was an angel there um, there was a nurse her name was Audria and poor thing I slaughtered her name and called her Alondria I think they had given me a little something in my uh, in my IV um, and she's like, Alondra is a boulevard girl. I am a skinny woman. I am not a boulevard. Anyways, she was making that joke because she had had surgery two years ago by my very same surgeon. And she had lost half her body weight. She was 180 pounds and she had previously been 360 pounds. And she was just beautiful. She had a great spirit about her. And whatever it was, she brought a calm over me. And um, also the anesthesiologist did too. It was actually... a an amazing experience. I had my surgery at Kaiser in the South Bay by Dr. Zane. And um, my whole entire hospital experience was great. It was very, very comfortable. I always felt good. Um, right after I came out of surgery, um, when I got back to my room, I was in pain. I had level seven pain and I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but they started pumping me, which was great. And I saw my daughter sitting there in the room and I was thinking, and she, I could just she had a look on her face, and it's one of those looks you hardly ever see, and it was a look of fear. So I thought to myself, if you can get up and walk, you need to walk. And I had to go to the restroom, so I said, I'm gonna go to the restroom, and I'm gonna give you so much TMI here, it's not even funny, and I apologize in advance. But, so I go to the restroom, and boom, uh, my monthly friend showed up, I'm like, wonderful timing, beautiful. I, it happened while I was in surgery, great. Um, and so once I came out of the restroom, I said, I'm going for it. I'm walking. And I walked the whole wing and that completely relieved her. Um, she knew I was in a lot of pain prior. And so it was, it was a good thing for her to see me be able to walk and go for it. And, uh, so anyways, that's a little bit about my surgery and recovery, uh, afterwards experience. And I, all I can say is I'm, I'm very thankful, very thankful, obviously, how many of these surgeries occur people don't typically I mean it's a rare instance when somebody actually passes from the surgery um, but nonetheless you know I just still had that fear and, and I knew my mom shared it too so anyways um, my husband was so great through the process my mom has been wonderful with helping me and my daughter too they've just been wonderful um, so anyways, I, I got home, I see, I had surgery on Tuesday the 15th and was home on Wednesday afternoon by one o'clock in the afternoon and on the way home, we went to Rouse, which is a grocery store here in Southern California and I walked the grocery store and then we went to Trader Joe's because <laughs> uh, I told my husband, I want to walk before we get home because I know once I get home, I'm probably going to plop down and, and be done for a while. And that was all good and fine. And the couple days following was great. I laid low for about five days and I was feeling really, really good. And so I decided, hmm, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start back to work on day seven. And I did. Um, that day was met with a couple things. First of all, I was constipated and had a major event that morning, which was not pleasing. And I'll put that in another video because I'm going to do a video on all the wonderful bodily function changes that occur after you have weight loss surgery or that happened to me. I'll, I'll just put it there. And so that you can TMI, not watch it if you're not interested. Um, so yeah, that, that morning and then coupled with, um, working that afternoon, which was only going to be a couple of hours. Um, but it was a lot of up and down, up and down, a lot of movement. And, uh, for whatever reason, it kind of gave me a hitch in my giddy up 
and that night I was I, I also slept on my side for the first time that night so I think there was too much pressure on where my incision area was and it was so painful so so painful the next day I woke up and it just felt like somebody had taken a knife and stabbed me in the stomach so obviously went back on my pain medication um, and then the next day I was gonna go see my surgeon for my 10-day post-op so I talked with him about it when I saw him and basically he said oh that's my signature stitch and he was kidding of course but he had there's a large stitch that he says he puts in there and it is uh, it dissolves and until it dissolves it's going to remind you constantly that it's there I just thought it was really weird that I didn't have any pain leading up until those days and then all of a sudden it showed up but anyways I've been laying low since that was last Friday and today's Monday actually it was laying low since Thursday um, when I when I got the pain so, um, but today I am, this evening, finally, I'm feeling a little bit better and I'm praying that that stitch is gone. <laughs> um, so for the first 10 days, I was on a liquid diet. It wasn't clear liquids. It was also protein and um, protein shakes and cream soups were fine as well. So as soon as I got home from the hospital, that's what my diet was. And then on day 10, they switched us to pureed foods, which is great. Um, I've had some really good things. I've had smashed avocado with a sprinkle of Lowry seasoning salt, which is my absolute favorite. I've licked, you know, peanut butter. I get the organic, all natural, creamy peanut butter from Trader Joe's <laughs> and um, lick that off a spoon. Um, I'm drinking my premier protein shakes. I'm also drinking a little bit of ice up here when I can tolerate it. Um, my good news is my taste buds have not changed and I'm really pleased about that. I was a chocolate lover before. I'm good with the um, premier protein. I'm actually drinking it now. Um, so really, really happy, happy about that because I haven't had any aversions. I know it still may happen, but, um, so far so good. Um, what else? I've had jello and, you know, just different soups and, um, cottage cheese, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, you're only eating like maximum two ounces at a time, usually an ounce. Um, but trying to get all my liquids in, that's a little bit of a challenge. I'm getting in two protein shakes a day for 60 grams of protein and then anything I eat on top of that. So I'm probably getting around 65 grams of protein a day. Um, and I'm probably only getting in about, oh, 40 additional ounces of water. So um, I'd like to see that increase, you know, another obviously 24 ounces um, or more so let me see here sorry I'm gonna get, get a little help with my video here um, let's see I think that's pretty much it for my update um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all your well wishes. I, again, you guys amaze me. Did people of this community have the biggest hearts? And, and I want to thank my, all my girlfriends who know that I have, actually there's hardly any of my girlfriends know that I have surgery, but the ones that know, thank you so much for your love and your support. And my mom and my, my daughter and, um, my husband and my assistant at work, Casey, you got, you totally, you totally handled my business while I was gone and I so appreciate it. It's nice to be able to have things actually, uh, deals actually close <laughs> and you're not even present. Um, but, uh, she pulled that off for me and I'm just really thankful. Um, I'm thankful to all of you guys out there who just have shared your knowledge, um, it's been great and I continuously look to your videos and to all my Track 88 folks from um, our group uh, who just went through surgery and uh, a couple of our surgeries are coming up. Love you guys and again, thanks for all the love and support. Um, if you have any questions, feel free. I know this is kind of a random video. I think I'm so excited to just be back in front of the camera and feeling decent that I... <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. So anyways, um, and all the people, the uh, March, April, May uh, surgery people, the group on Facebook. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, you guys, it's been great to connect with you. So, okay. I'm going to call it over for now. It's one of my longer videos, but uh, have a great evening and we will chat soon. Bye-bye.